from your standpoint, from a broadcasting standpoint, what do you think is going to attract viewers in a market where it is sometimes difficult to get new things to catch on, even within cricket? Again, you'll have people who are diehard India fans, West Indies fans, but there's not necessarily the same level of interest even within franchise cricket. I mean, I can remember going to CPL games in Florida, Steve Smith and Andre Russell in front of 700 people because they just were not interested on a weeknight to go to that in person. So what do you think, taking all those things into consideration, it's going to take for a new competition to succeed in the same way that when India comes to Florida, you can guarantee 12,000 people are going to show up in a stadium? Yeah, well, look, I think one, I mean, obviously marketing is one. Um, so again, I'll, I'll get the low hanging fruit out of the way first, right? We got to, we got to let people know. And, and by we meaning Willow and the team at Ace, right? So we have a partnership as we go forward. So both we have to work hand in hand to, to alert people when and where the matches are happening. I, I think the second one, honestly, is, is storytelling. You know, I'll, I'll harken back to when I worked on the CrossFit games for ESPN. And, you know, I felt they did a very good job in the telecast telling you why you should care about this person who was Annie Thor's daughter who who no who was who is sorry she's still alive no Annie <laughs> follow you on Instagram you're not dead you're still alive <laughs> you know Rich Froning who who is Rich Froning who are these people right and, and I think it's going to be the same thing for us is and, and that's something that you know we're committed to as at Willow is to help tell the stories around these players and get people to know and have interest. So when they do come out to the ballpark, they're not like, hey, well, you know, there's Corey Anderson. Nah, I don't really know Corey. Well, well sure you do, because we're going to introduce you to him via features and interviews and things of that nature. And he's just one example um, that we're going to help drive interest in this sport. And, and I say, again, some of this goes with USA cricket, a little bit like soccer, right? You have some players that wind up making a name for themselves. And in, in the, I'm talking about soccer now on the national team. Then they come back and will play for whomever, whoever the MLS club is. I think there's going to be some of that as well. Some of these guys will go make a name for themselves playing against international competition, get a little bit more pub and press that way. will come back and now play for their local team for, for major league cricket. So again, it, 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 none of this is going to be, you know, an overnight sensation. There's going to be a lot of hard work, right? I mean, Oftentimes people just look at the end game. Oh, wow. Look again, take ESPN, for example, people are like, wow, you know, what are we now? 30, you know, 50 years later, almost or so, right? ESPN's in around and, and you see, wow, look, look at the pinnacle it's at. Yeah, but, but it didn't start there, right? There's a lot of work and effort that's going to go in. That's going to build major league cricket step by step by step. And that someday someone's going to look around and be like, wow, you guys are on top of the world, but you got to start somewhere. And, you know, there's no doubt with the team that's in place, there's a lot of really smart people, a lot of hardworking people, and they're going to make some good strategic decisions on, on how to get fans out to the stadium. And we, we talked about earlier, if you go, you're going to enjoy yourself. Yeah. And then you're going to go back and tell your neighbor, hey, well, what did you do last Saturday? Oh, well, I went over to the Airhawk Stadium and, and, and caught a, a professional cricket match. You should come with me next time. Mm -hmm. And then they bring somebody. And, and the next thing you know, you know, hopefully we have a waiting list, you know, like the Lambeau Field. You just can't get a ticket yeah. because it's, it's become that popular. 